listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show, it's AfterBuzz TV's Dancing with the Stars After Show. Oh, guys, oh, yeah. we are here for the fin final show of the season, season 18, Dancing with the Stars finale. I'm Kristen Burtz, and you'll notice that it's ladies' night here at After Buzz. And, of course, dancing next to me. <laughs> and in studio last night was Anna Turpinskaya. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, to her left is Sir Serrano. What is up, man? I can't believe it. I'm not a fine new show. <laughs> what accent is that? I where, don't know. Where, did that, where did that go? It started Jamaican know. and then it finished. I don't even know Jamaican. what. Russian. <laughs> sort of started. Russian. Could have been something like that, yeah. <laughs> but to her left is our guest, and finally what? back, Emma Slater. Hello, and, everybody. And we, she has the best accent, by the way. Does Out have of the three accent. of us, she Definitely. has the best I have no accent, I don't think. You have an American accent. I'm, it's called Standard American. Standard American. <laughs> I have Everybody something. Has accent. I'm mm -hmm. from Boston, and you would you didn't really know it, so. No, I, very no, neutral. Standard American. But Emma, we missed you last season, so oh, thank you I for coming you guys. back. guys. No problem. Thanks for having me. I feel like we should do a two-hour show and talk about Bill Engvall from last season. <laughs> and talk about <laughs> yeah, <this season>. sure. Because <laughs> you had a great season uh, last year with Bill, and yeah. you made it into the finals. And I what know. a what a great ride it was. It was great. I didn't expect to get there at all, and neither did he. He was the most shocked out of everybody. Um, Bill Engvall, like, truly shocked. And <laughs> to think that he got all the way to the final was just crazy. Like, I, I, loads of people had us going out first. So yes. it was just, it felt really good to prove them wrong. And But that's you know, the whole thing was great. And I do, I, I think the one thing we talked about a lot last season, I feel like I'm, here I'm going back to season 17, but just quickly, like, he was game for anything that you gave him. Yeah. yeah. He was open to it, and it was hard not to fall in love with him, so. I know, he truly was the way he was on TV. It, that was the person he was. He And like you said, he just did everything that he wanted to do. He wanted to be um, just just huge like there was no challenge I couldn't give him that he didn't say no to so I just kept giving him challenges and he was like oh okay I was like yeah. okay <laughs> that's the kind of partner you yeah. want that's, that's the best and you were partnered up with Billy D. Williams this yeah. season yeah I was. I was in studio the week you guys had to drop out oh, it was so sad I know it was sad I really wanted to do that dance as well it was going to be um dedicated to his grandchildren for um uh, most memorable year theme week and it was a waltz to what a wonderful world it would have mm. been really pretty his grandkids sat in front of us when at the studio oh, that really? week we thought they were really cute they're gorgeous oh my god stunning kids yeah so Just much beautiful. fun i was jealous of your ewoks yeah oh, i love them i had uh, several photos with them um i had stormtroopers i had me r2d2 oh it was so much fun it was like being Why in the not? movies again i know <laughs> you should bring it all Incredible. out if you can <laughs> All right, well, let's get to season 18. Let's yeah, fast yeah. forward to, to the present. And uh, let's talk about the finals because... Um, Monday. We're going to start let's with start Monday. Monday. Yeah, we're going to start okay. with Monday. We're going to start up with the switch-up dances where everyone went back to the regular partner, but to the dances they did with their switch-up partners, which I thought was kind of a, a great idea. Good twist. A good twist. I thought they were going to do the same choreography, though, originally. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that they were going to do some new choreography. I think it was interesting because you could compare what their original partner did against, you know, someone that they'd been switching in week mm. four. And also the celebrity had, had potentially had two weeks to, to figure out that dance. So if you had um, like Meryl, the Argentine tango, she then had uh, another chance to do it. So like she could potentially nail it, which she did anyway. Yeah. Yeah. She know that the first time yeah, and I the know. second time. <laughs> <laughs> that was both, it was beautiful both times, but we're gonna kick it off uh, with James and Peta. Now, James uh -huh. originally did the tango with Cheryl, so yeah. he's back yeah. to his original partner. Um, I'll start right with you, Anna, what'd you think? Uh, much better. I feel like James took all the judges' notes uh, from the tango with Cheryl, you know, with the butt sticking out and the frame not being too solid and um, the footwork stuff, and he applied it all to his tango with Pita for the last week, and it was a, a huge, huge improvement to, to me. And, you know, 
she looked amazing in that outfit. He mm-hmm. looked very s- suave and sharp, so I, huge improvement. And we talked yeah. a lot about his butt this season. I, it was it was out for a lot of the dances. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so but nice not what it. you guys think. Not your no. dirty mind, but just, just technically. <laughs> we're talking about technical butt Technical. Issues. The butt was sticking out a little bit here and there. <laughs> Sorry. God. Hashtag ne- technical bat- butt uh, issues. Hashtag. <laughs> I agree with Anna. I, you know, I, James was never one of my favorites, but I, you know, great job to him. Hats Can I just him. comment on like, I'm still so amazed because I missed that week. Um, I was in New York mm-hmm. on a family slash work trip and it turned out to be just madness with you no know, time change with the baby and time change for myself. And so I missed the show. I'm sorry, everybody. But uh, I'm still, I still cannot believe that James went to the final and not Charlie. I'm still like, what? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. yeah. I think it, sometimes it just, James is such a, um, a genuine, nice person. And you do, but you Charlie is never, as well. Uh, yeah, they, they honestly, they both are. But it really does depend on the packages and what the audiences see. Yeah. And, and, but, but trust me, yeah, Charlie just phenomenally great, lovely person. James too. But, it, you know, if the packages show something more in favor for James and... Something more interesting. Yeah, then, yes. then people, it really is just, it, it's kind of potluck, really. I wonder if they were like, you know, neck to neck and it, it was just like one little thing that tipped them It over. might have been just one decision that people That's have gone, oh, like. you know, I really like that he did that. I'm going to give a vote to James. And if millions of people thought that same thing, it would have, have shifted. But I don't think that it, I really think it was a bit of a shock to the studio like I think that that wasn't I didn't see that coming either yeah I think also you, you're you're looking at Max and Charlie fans if you're mm-hmm. a figure skating fan you start splitting a vote Mer- too and I think Meryl you mean Meryl what did I say Max and Max Char- Char- oh my gosh because next up Max and-, Max and Charlie are dancing together on ice <laughs> I can't wait everybody Meryl and Charlie there's so many showmances going on in the show we can't keep up yes the next one is Max, Max and, and Charlie. Charlie yeah <laughs> But it does. I, I think that for some of this figure skating fans, yes. they, they split the vote, and, and that's what happened. Yeah. Um, what did you think of James's tango? I uh, well, the kiss first of all. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it was like yes. wow. It was like a dramatic Hot. build up in the music, and then you know she walks away, and he just pulled her in, pulled her in, and there was like tongue central, really? and everybody backstage just went. Oh my! I wonder God. if they really like. Tongue. I wonder if they they put a lot of practice into it. Yeah, that's they true. Practiced. I wonder. Off they the practiced. I'm sure they the practiced. Studio? I'm sure they practiced. The <laughs> yeah. studio. But the you got to practice everything, you know, in the routine. If it's part of the routine, you got to practice. You got to put it in the wide. You got to, you know, make it make it believable, which yeah. requires practice. Uh, but I think yeah. um, in terms of the, the tango, um, Peter's so good at, at teaching the tango and she's great with the choreography. I think he was probably a little bit stiff. Now, yeah. tango's tango's aggressive but it's not stiff and yes. like i think you know what it was i think i remember it would have been great if he'd uh, traveled around the floor a little bit more but that was it you know so he's amazing at other dances i don't think the tango is quite his best one mm-hmm. but he still did a really good job yeah. like he really yeah. did yeah we he talked shined. a lot about him being a, a little bit stiff and not quite the natural dancer mm-hmm. but he is definitely a hard worker so whatever he lacked in natural mm. dancing natural coordination so to say i think he overcame with his hard work so he's got good congrats frame. Yeah, yeah congrats yes james 10 10 9 we're i mean we're basically talking about 10 10 nines yeah most yeah. of the night anyway i think that was a slightly itty bitty overscored i yeah. agree Mm. Uh, judging the season was Whatever. a hot mess. So <laughs> I said it. When is it not? <laughs> it was particularly a hot mess this mm. season. I think mm. more so than others. Um, Meryl yeah. and Max doing the Argentine tango. Oh my Isabel. god! Uh, okay, yeah, I start. guess we'll let Suri start. Uh, start. <laughs> I didn't finish my sentence. Sorry, no, it was just so freaking amazing. I love them. <laughs> sorry, I'm really Our excited. ears are being blown out. Sorry, 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 guys. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Ew, I go ahead, Anna. <laughs> um, well, it was. Listen, she's a trained ice dancer. She is coordinated. She is athletic. She is tiny and compact and yeah. knows how to carry herself. And Argentine tango. Um, there are different styles of Argentine tango, but this one in this particular style that they've done is more like a showcase. Mm-hmm. It's not a social like the way they dance. Um, 
in Argentina, like on the streets, is a milonga style where they can pick up any girl and dance with them or go to any guy and dance with them. But it does not have all these crazy lifts. I mean, this was yeah. definitely very theatrical. And that is what she is amazing at, mm-hmm. is being this theatrical with lifts. And I feel like they had like eight lifts in that routine. They, they did. So, and but she's also a beautiful mover. And... Um, at first, I was kind of like, why is she wearing the same dress that from her previous tango, but in red? But then I, I, I saw the, the how movement that created the skirt created, not the skirt, the pants created that extra movement. But also because that was her favorite, the other one was her favorite costume of the season. Oh, that's why. Okay. So she decided to do to the do, same in Yeah, red. hey, if it yeah. works, why yeah. not? Um, it didn't mind. I would love to see her leg action and leg work. Um, Because I feel it's particularly sexy on the Argentine tango lady is how the foot goes and how the the leg works. And I couldn't really see that, um, which was a bit bit of disappointment because I know she can do amazing. It was like, where's where's my favorite spice? You know, you go to Indian restaurant you want that curry yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, you know so it's like oh, i want it but it's okay whatever it was still amazing phenomenal brilliant choreography was spot on um lifts were fantastic executed to 100 percent so yeah very well deserved score I, yeah and i think that they were in a really good spot like on monday and tuesday you know yeah. when you're just like you're in the zone Flying. and yeah. you're there the, the, their mental game was perfect i think over yeah, the two nights he, yeah i think so too but i mean going back to um that the style of of the argentine tango i think her argentine tango with val was very um was very just uh, technical and strong and quick and fast whereas this one with max was a lot more chemistry Sultry. and oozy. yeah and she got a chance to be a little bit more sexy on, on the slow part which um mm. you know she does so well she's so elegant and she looked gorgeous the set was great i actually camera blocked this dance on sunday because she was oh, still she on tour. there oh. <laughs> yeah um so some of those the the most difficult trick in that whole dance was when you're on the floor and when she was on the floor and Max pulls and then her off and she, she splits and straddles him. Yeah. It, My favorite part, of, by the way. But it kind of, you'd, you'd look at it because everything else looks, there's some other tricks in there that actually look more difficult, but they're not. But that one, I'm telling you, she launches herself to get around him. And then it's just, she has this soft hand and then she does this big kick. But it, the really difficult thing in dancing to get is the light and shade. You can go for really harsh, but they, but you've got to n- then complement it with the soft. You can't just go h- one speed the whole time. Rush, Agree. Rush, rush, rush. Yeah. yeah. So she had that really dynamic movement, and then they both just oozed out of it. It was that's like that's dancing. That's that, mastery. When they did that, I was like, oh god, yeah, that was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's that's masterful. And yeah, I think sure. that's also when we had talked a lot about like the size difference between them. But that's mm. a great place where it yes. works well. She's yes. so tiny and he's so big and strong. Yeah. You're going to be able to, yeah. to launch her. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. She's going to get the height that you yeah. wouldn't normally get. You know, totally. yeah. so amazing. How oh, they got perfect tens. Yeah. Obviously. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a given. Deserved. It's a given. We go into Candace and Mark doing the quick step. Oy. Now, we need, do need to kind of backtrack because okay. Mark had the injury yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. And oh. I've got to say on Monday, it, it was written on his face. I could yeah. see the pain. And I, God bless him for like going through and being there for, for Candace because... You know, I understand wanting to be there, and it's that's tough. And and I think for Candace, she needed him there too right. because the mental game with yeah. that. But I saw I it saw. happen, oh. and it was in the freestyle camera blocking, and it was a trick where she put her legs around his head, and then he um, swung her where they rotated, and um, they literally did two rotations, and then he just stopped. He was really pale. He put her down, kind of a little stiff, and then. When she was on the floor, he just went bam on the floor. And he'd done it in the air, but he's there's, he's like, there's no way I'm going to drop her. So he literally stops, places her, makes sure she's down, and then just completely falls over. And he's, wow. th- he's like, teeth were going and his legs were going. Like, it was a real thing. It was pain. It was awful was to like, watch on oh. camera. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine being there. Oh, everybody kind of looked dashed to him. and But he's Ouch. a trooper, and he, he had, Emma, like, from then he went to the hospital, had MRIs, and then, you know, his family was there and he got back and he ended up rehearsing that night. And God, like that that's incredible to me yeah. to, to keep going. And I think he just didn't want to let her down. Cause she, to, to, a, to a large extent, she 
really believed that it was her fault when it wasn't oh, at all. She no. took she really took that hard. Yeah, I think that's uh, uh, Mark's old injury that got flared mm. up because he actually when he danced with Sabrina Brian. It's the opposite shoulder. It's the though. opposite shoulder. Yeah, but yeah. but think it's about it. Compensating. It's the comp compensation, and he worked a lot on the other shoulder and now this uh, this shoulder is like taking over so it's it's kind of comes back so it's usually like um if you have one knee injury the other knee will eventually get mm -hmm. weak as well so yeah. it's kind of makes sense and um it's not candace's fault at all no, it's just no. it's it's the that's just how it goes Which, i mean everybody gets yeah. injured towards the end especially the pros i mean um they they bring a lot of attention on the show of celebrities being injured but not kind of that much attention on the pros because for some reason they think pros are like superhuman or <laughs> robots or something um yes not whatever i said i hope you understood because i have an accent but you know we bleed we have injuries and we have some old injuries that never quite heal and then they get flared up again right. so but we can't let our celebrities down. You know, we fall, we bruise, we strain our ankles or hurt our shoulder or break something, but we keep go going. We have to be the leader of the we team. We gotta be the leader. Yeah, yeah we can't let... Um, we can't let them down because if our spirits is down, then their spirits will be down. And it's a lot of responsibility and pressure in that too. So it's kind of like being a parent, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's like their journey. You want to make it the best for them Special you don't want to possible. be the reason that it, it ends and exactly but unfortunately they always think it's it's their fault like when when bill engvall dropped me in week three oh, and i yeah. hit my head it was perfectly fine for me like it just it looked and sounded particularly um worse than it was but for him it was the it was the worst day yeah. in the whole season because it was like he dropped me but it, it, it wasn't yeah. the case at all oh mm. sweet <laughs> yeah so, so how's their quick step because the, um she originally did it with tony yeah, which we really liked. I thought we really liked the quick step, and I think the this particular quick step with Mark had a lot of potential. And first of all, I think she looked gorgeous. The outfit she wore yeah, was was, fun too. Yeah, yes. was very cool, very oh. chic, and it was I think one of my favorite dresses of the night. Yes. Um. So I was really looking forward to see what she brought, and I think because of the injury and just her feeling insecure about that her and shoulders Artem had went, stepped in right yep. her shoulders went up her back rounded she was she looked insecure she didn't feel she didn't look confident and i think that really affected everything and she kind of had a few mess ups with the footwork she and didn't. just kind of and you know just it just wasn't her best unfortunately because up till that point i think she was gaining so much momentum mm -hmm. but i feel with the quick step she kind of she kind of let go a little bit. And I do think that is because of a mental thing. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And she's been to see um, psychologists about performing. I think she just has things going on in her head in the middle of the dance and, and the footwork goes and sometimes she forgets to smile. She she just you looks know what it not is? comfortable, you is she? You know what it is? I almost, I almost thought about it. It's being mommy for too long. Do you reckon why? Yeah, because when you're a mommy, right, You it's, it's a weird thing. Like you you kind of get into your own head and like you always in you know you're always with the children and then you kind of get out of yourself a little bit instead of being like here present with yourself you're a little bit out of yourself i love this i and love that you're telling us I this know, Anna. right it's so <laughs> weird uh but i can relate to her i mean she's been mom for the last 10 15 years or so how long i think her oldest is 15 or 16 right yeah, yeah. so she's yeah it's, it's almost like she's used to um, and she's such a sweet person. It's almost like she's used to being aware of other people and not so much aware of, of herself and connecting to herself and her own intuition and her own gut. It's kind of like she's out, let's say she's aware of Mark being hurt. She's aware of this and she's aware of people watching her and instead of just kind of... Maybe this awakened that. this inside of her. I hope so. I hope. <laughs> I think it's a good experience. I mean, you gotta you got to have a little bit of that you know to yourself and i'm not talking about no i know she's very strong in her faith and i think that gives her a, a strong anchor so it's not like um like her soul is not connected to her not that it's it's just being in the moment like on the athletic side what do you think yeah i don't know if i agree with that i get i okay. i definitely see that it that could be true yeah for me as a performer and dancer like i know that i've struggled with what she struggles with okay so 
and, and she talked about how, you know, when she's done TV and film, you get takes. Yeah. It's not live. And I struggled as a performer blanking out on choreography mm. under that pressure. Mm. Did so you as I a gymnast or only no, as, as a, a dancer. dancer? It's interesting. Not as a gymnast. Ever. It's, it's interesting though. Only as a dancer, but dancer was not my forte. I didn't grow up as a dancer. Yeah. I started it late in life, and I I had to constantly um, test myself in class. Like mm. I would go move myself around the room because I would literally just moving myself to a different area. I would blank out, or be in oh. front of the audition. I would blank out under that pressure. Yeah, so I relate yeah, to that. her the whole season on mm, that. I'm yeah. like, I get it. It's hard. It is hard. Yeah. <laughs> and then when like, you have the variable of Mark injured, Artem stepping yeah, in, is Mark stress. able to dance? Yeah. You it must build up in her brain and I saw Mark he talked her heavily through this dance. Like he you know, you always yes, see every week. Did, yeah. uh, you know the pros she said, talk. Thank oh, you yeah. for talking me through it. He yeah. talked her big <laughs> time. He was yeah. he saw it. Yeah. chatting yeah. the whole oh, way yeah. through yeah. Yeah. across the floor. It was very, very obvious even on the telly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh but I kind of like that. I I like their relationship. The, he thinks she's just so cute. I think I love her all season. Her. Love her. Yeah, yeah. She. Uh, uh, me too. Just I, one of my favorites. I tweeted her today. I'm like, woman, you are killing the jumpsuit. You look so Seriously? good. And oh, she said so thank you back. Good. So I was like, no, that was one of my favorite outfits. Look gorgeous. And I just have to say, even though she's not the most amazing dancer ever, I love watching her. Yeah, yeah. I loved watching her, and I so love the charm. expression on her face. You just like, I just want to root. True. You want to root for her. Yeah. yeah, because you know what? And I said this over and over, and people would argue with me back but she told us who she was in week yes. one and she never varied from that and mm. she was open and she was honest and she was kind yeah. and I was like who, you know I get it she's not the best dancer and she admitted I'm not the best dancer but you know she delivered a journey and, and it's like what you had with Bill last season he yeah. delivered a journey that people understand or relate to or like yep yeah mm -hmm. and it's not always about the best dancer so there you go hey. not always uh we move on to Der derek and amy doing the salsa he mm -hmm. uh, amy originally did it with mark so um what do i really love this dance this is beautiful. i loved this this is one of my favorites of the night definitely he was very clever very clever i mean that first lift and and then he actually the bongos. yeah the bongos was hilarious <laughs> oh. what well, how good and then and there's only there's only limited things that, um, and and this isn't a, a detriment to Amy, but there are you do, you can't let go of her and let her um, uh, do the salsa solo by herself. She needs that support. She likes that support. She loves dancing with Derek because of that support. Mm -hmm. She's really adamant about it. You know, the it's salsa. It can be quite free, and um, you can have side by side sections. But that's it's not the way to to go for Amy. She she doesn't want to to do that and it's not going to be best for her so he's he's very clever by utilizing that mm -hmm. um uh, her movements you know he puts her in these fringy outfits which she loves and she gets to shake oh she, she just looked the great fringe. and Amazing. she turns fantastic and she had this one lift that didn't go quite so well in the um, camera blocking. Oh. And then for the show, it went fantastic. Uh -huh. And I loved to see her smile when she landed it. She had this real fresh, young, youthful smile like, yes. And, and then everything <laughs> else, do you, do you probably will watch if yeah. you see it back. Yeah. Um, and then everything else is just like full on, full yeah. out, like yeah. crazy. It, it, that was the great part about it, that every single bit in that routine, she lived through it. She mm -hmm. really enjoyed it. She was like, yeah, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm doing this. I, yeah. I am, I'm doing this. Like, it was so fun to watch her um, just being like a kid in the Disney world. Yeah. That, that, you guys, that section in the middle where he was doing this like awesome movement and she was just swiveling. Swivel, what, swivel, swivel. Swivels. Oh, that was one of my favorite spots. Yeah, it, it, it and great. it's simple too, but, it, yeah. but she just makes, she has a natural musicality, a natural innate rhythm in her. Um, so she's, to me, she's actually one of the better dancers of the season. Mm -hmm. She is. Um, and that kind of rhythm, the natural rhythm, comes out in her emotions and the emotion is very uh, organic. So you don't just, you know, most of the routines she had were pretty simple. It wasn't overly complicated, it wasn't overly done, but with the simplicity that she had, she was was able to really turn it on and showcase it in the best possible way. And that's what I enjoyed the most about her um, salsa. So. She had a great performance. Yeah. Yeah.
It was. It was one of my favorites of the night. 30 altogether. Yeah, pretty good. Yep. Yes. Much um, better from the, the week before, too. Absolutely. I yeah. completely agree with you. Um, before we move on to freestyle, and ones that people wait all season long for. Oh, yeah. I know. This is our final iTunes. Five star. Five star. Oh, oh, this season. Five star. I'm going to get to do it. Hold up a five. Uh, okay. Five, five, five stars. Five. <laughs> so please make sure you rate us. Um, as you know, we're not live today, um, but everything will be archived up on iTunes eventually. So just be patient with us. We will have this show up on YouTube as quickly as possible as well. But uh, thank you for all of your feedback this season. iTunes, YouTube, Twitter. Yes. All the social media. Thank we you. certainly appreciate it. Yeah. Five stars. And five stars. Five stars. <laughs> Our favorite thing. All right, let's move into freestyle because, uh, you know, this is a lot. A lot of America votes on this one dance only. They oh, forget America. all nine weeks. Oh, America. Nine weeks didn't happen. Only the 10th week freestyle happened. Yeah. So forget, you know, the 24-hour challenge and forget, you know, the switch-up <laughs> dances. This is the dance. So we kicked it off with uh, James and Peta, And I thought that this number was perfect for them. Yeah. It just it really sort of... Um, really showcased what they were about, their, yeah. their partnership, the strength that they had behind their mm. dance, and, and I loved it. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, it was. And he's good at that kind of thing, you know? He's kind of very street, very funky. His flip at the start was mad. Right. It was, good. It was so good. It was yeah. good. Gymnasts liked it. Yeah. <laughs> was it good? You tell yes, us. it was good. Okay, good. It was impressive. How oh, hard sure. is that to learn? To go uh, to the wall and tuck? Tip. Yeah. Oh, you mean do the walls? or yeah. the right? Either one. Um, You, you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. You got to know what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. To yep. not make it look like we're going to be, oh, you're going to die. Yeah. No, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Well, he honestly. had this lady, um, uh, her name's Caitlin. Um, unfortunately, I don't know her second name. She was incredible. And she was like talking him through, even with the stick at the end and with the trick where he runs up the wall and, and the flip. And she she was just bouncing off the walls. I was like, my God, she's amazing. <laughs> um, so he must have spent the most intense week with her and all mm. of a sudden was just like amazing at all these um, nice. like tricks. You take someone athletic. I know he studied martial arts a little bit before. Yeah. Yeah. and whatnot if you if you take someone athletic and you combine all of that you just give them a little bit of less like teaching they, they got it yeah. Like, yeah I don't know I, I think I'm a lost case when it comes to aerials <laughs> you try to make me any aerials I can barely do a cartwheel I mean anything that like, oh come on Anna no, seriously. I've seen you do cartwheel. Handstand, cartwheel, ah! cartwheel cartwheel handstand if somebody's holding my legs I can do it and <laughs> always, it's like a mental Someone thing I, I, whenever I'm upside down and like I'm starting to get back to it in yoga like it, it just freaks me out What's, maybe something happened in childhood that's because so funny. <laughs> aerials are just like guys amazing phenomenal not, not, you. My, not so my forte not you. I do want to say something about James's freestyle though um, I feel every season um, there's one couple that brings a freestyle that is like nobody else's and I feel this season it was James I agree he he and Peter that's both what they them, wanted right but both of them brought brought something that was never done before on Dancing with the Stars. I mean, that particular style, I mean, would you say that was like a jazz... Hip-hop. J- jazz, hip-hop, martial arts mm-hmm. combo yeah. thing? Uh, we've never... And it was like... Um, I blogged about it, actually. Um, it was like a, a, a video, video game... game. Uh, video game um, martial artists ah, got together and decided right. to have a dance-off. That, that was like my... A video game West Side Story. Kind of like exactly. Yeah. Kind of, right? Perfect. Yes. A, little, a little bit like grungy, futuristic as well. So never been done on Dance with the Stars. Very creative. Um, all the props and all the extra dancers really worked. Because sometimes it could kind of not work and it could distract. But this was all done in a really clever, artistic and fresh way. And I want to congratulate PETA and James. Even though they didn't technically made it to the top three. To me, that was the most um, artistically fresh freestyle out yeah. of his agree. Mind. I agree with you. That's what I was saying uh, earlier with yeah. Suri, because I just said it was the one that stood out. I understood why it was the encore dance. Yeah. And you know what? It was the dance that I wanted Val and Zendaya to do with their freestyle. Yeah. And this is what I actually really? expected. Yeah. Oh, that, that Zendaya would have killed it. That too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. She would have killed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it yeah. was, it was great. It, and they did say they wanted to do something that, no, that has not been done before. So right. well done for them. Mm-hmm. That they accomplished that. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Jenna because I couldn't take my eyes off of her. Yeah. She's such a right. performer. She's on really TV. Great. Did. For me, sorry. Just yeah, she's that. someone that's, that's really come into her own. I mean, I followed her last season on So You Think You Can Dance, but I mean, you can't take your eyes off. I of couldn't her. in that uh, number. Yeah. Like, she's oh, really wait, good, especially good. that kind of thing as well. Like yeah. she's she's, she's a well-rounded dancer. Yeah, she turns it on. Yeah, all those vibe dancers. 
They are good. No. They are. Um, they got a nine from Len. I. What was that about? I don't know what that was about. I, I mean, was confused. What was he was angry just, about? He, I mean, he it wasn't his thing, I guess. He wasn't gave it? Derek and Amy a nine too. So. I think I think what happened was, uh, and he was about to say it in his comments was. He was probably going to say something along the lines of, it's not my cup of tea. Because you can imagine, you yeah. know, as you said, futuristic martial arts -y type of new age freestyle. Video game. And Len. <laughs> With the sound yeah, of the it's sensory. Like, uh, <laughs> so no. I feel like he was like, I, I, I liked it. He probably didn't relate to it, which didn't yeah. spark that extra mark. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Um, yeah, probably. Oh, Len, he's so flaky. He's sometimes cranky. Meryl and Max doing their freestyle. And, uh, of course, this was a perfect 10. They had a perfect score all the way through uh, yeah. the two nights, which is which was great. Yeah. Um, this was beautiful. Oh this God. is the chemistry that you can't manufacture. No. You can't force on someone, and uh, you definitely saw it. It wasn't the standout freestyle for me. I know... Um, it really was James and Peter for me. Her toe point was driving me bananas. Like, I, and I, it's my, it's my own thing. You guys, you know, I get onto sickled feet yes. and toe point, and yes. there was no point in toes. You're making me insecure for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ballet yeah. dancer Your thing. in me. Look, I was like, point that toe. Look, the thing is, you and I discussed this earlier. Uh, that was the only thing that stood that was out the only in thing. a negative way for me. Yeah, I, and. But everything else was so amazing that I just looked past it. But I, I get it. I mean, she's in a, been in a boot that you cannot point your toe. Only your ankle. <laughs> you only point your ankle. Her, her whole life. So it, I gave her whatever that. But um, the jump spin catch. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and then when she was arching back, laying back, and he picked her up and spun around, I died. I've watched yeah. it so many times. I don't know, six, seven times already. Done that, that lift with Max. Season with Zendaya. Did you? Mm, do yeah. check out the Argentine tango me and Max doing. You know, we did that lift. Hello. You're welcome, Max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the best I've ever seen, Max. Hats off to them. Yeah. Yes. Hats off. The best I've ever seen them man dance. And yeah. The, the connection, um, everything. Well, I mean, like, I feel every couple, which was so great about this uh, Monday, kind of had their own. Um, their own version of freestyle, right? Their their own spin off on the freestyle, like that really suited them. And I feel like with James and Peter, it was this aggressive, futuristic, funky. Mm -hmm. And with Max and Meryl, it was it was. Correct me if if I'm wrong, but it was a um, a lyrical dance yes. and a mm -hmm. contemporary dance, mm -hmm. which we have not seen from them um, before. So they like, hey, let's let's do it. So the freestyle had the the contemporary flavor and mm. it really showcased their chemistry. And it just was the two of them, which I thought yes, was perfect. Yes, it was beautiful. It showcased their chemistry, their connection, their partnering, which was, besides her being a, a, a gorgeous dancer and him being a fantastic dancer, but that was sort of the strongest thing for them the whole season. That's what made yeah. us watch it and kind of go, <gasps> mm -hmm. um, so I thought that was very clever. Um, no props taking my head off to both of them um, as much as um, the em emphasis was kind of put on well Max never won and I want to do this for Max because he never won because I've actually won a gold medal so it's okay um, oh. they <laughs> but they delivered you know but they, they delivered I want to give congratulations to both of them and to Meryl for we know you're a phenomenal skater and we phenomenal dancer on ice but now we, we know you're just a phenomenal dancer so congratulations for those both of those dances for for being so good yeah Absolutely. i think it was it was nice that he didn't over choreograph it you generally think um freestyle you got to throw in everything but the kitchen right. sink you know make <laughs> it make it and especially if there if there is just <clears throat> lights and dark around you in the yeah. spotlight you 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 want to over choreograph it and also that you want to kind of money you feel like you should be manufacturing that um emotion and yes. that affection that you have but i don't think they did that i think it really wasn't manufactured and i think that the 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 way that um that meryl and max decided to leave pockets in their um freestyle of just when he bent back and she was she held him and then she pushed yeah. him away it just the very softness of it i i really enjoyed that and that's daring to do in a freestyle because as i say you want to just like right. uh, impress impress yeah. impress that's that was so great that he did that and he recognized that and he said us just standing there you just standing there and us yes, connecting that's right. there that's right will be more powerful than us doing you know 300 moves in yeah. a second and i agree and that's why 
very clever, very powerful, and but gorgeous. it's rare that something like that works because their chemistry is so unique. Exactly, True. you yeah. can't do it in every True. dance and yeah. just throw it, was, it in there. For me, one of the best routines of the season, stand up. Absolutely, like, I'll yeah. take away uh, like when I look back at this season, I'll, that will be one of the few that I really remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah, you love really. that one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> How did you know I had that? to block that one as well. Amazing. I did had to, you? Yeah, I had to block that one as well. Was that scary? I loved it. You, I <laughs> loved it. Now I, I want to learn that routine and do it too. I was like, I'm going to be staring at Max like this. Yeah, I, I blocked quite a few of her routines this season. Oh. Well, I mean, when when I was off so the show. <laughs> you got a lot of quality time with Max I then. did, yeah. Oh. It's great to dance with. Fantastic. Yes, that's it makes you feel like a woman. That's good. That's a good quality. That's that. a great quality. Huge quality. We move on to uh, Candice and Mark for their freestyle. And, you know, I have to say, they talked a lot about her kids and everything. She, her family's so great. And her oh, kids no. are so supportive. And I just, it was yeah. really lovely to see, yeah. honestly. Yeah. And they were, her, her daughter was on, like, Instagram, like, all the time cheering on yeah. her mom, which yeah. was really Natasha, cute. her daughter, is there all the time. She's so, like, everybody loves her. She's such a friend with everybody. Um, uh, and she's, I love the way that when she's sitting there after the, the after Candice is done, so like she's always like clapping and yeah. she didn't like the her. score. No. She was crying and she had oh, her, she had with the eights. Oh my gosh! Oh. Didn't like the eights. I understand. Yeah, but it's funny that you can get eights. Like I was like, oh, they got eights. Like, like. I wonder if they're through. Like that's gonna be quite difficult to bounce Tough, back from that. Yeah. But that kind of made their their reveal more shocking. You know yes. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But it's not nice, you know, for that Good moment TV. that you don't know. No. Good television. What did we think of this? Because I, I, I don't think that this was their strongest week overall. No. And um, again, um, I think the intent of this freestyle was great. Like they went for the disco so fun. fun. Disco fun, bring out the personality, which is her strongest asset um, the whole season. And it has been, and she's yeah. just a joy. Uh, the intent was there. Again, the execution didn't quite match up the intent in my opinion which is unfortunate because again she was going so strong she was gaining so much momentum and i was like oh i do kind of feel like they should have got a sneaky nine for that for all three yes. sneaky nine. Because I love it. sneaky nine. i was like really proud of her yeah. because of that performance barrier that she has to get through she really whacked the hell out of some of those disco yeah. moves and especially and was doing all those lifts. i know he still did them oh. oh. yeah absolutely Kudos. Gosh, didn't adjust anything. In that the would have been a nine for even that. Yeah, for both yeah. of them because she's got to be scared doing the lift. Again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She she actually didn't. She, I mean, there was maybe one moment where she nearly forgot what was coming up, but everything else, like she was in sync. She really gave it all. There was some like kind of tricky timings in there mm -hmm. yeah. at the start when she was d DJing. I don't think that she. I don't feel like she held back as much as the judges say. That was just yeah. my, my point. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she did held back at all. I didn't feel that way. I mean, look, I, I it wasn't a ten performance for me in every way, but per overall performance quality, the idea, the concept, the gold, like idea, everything. I, like. I love that. Yeah. And I love that she on. didn't hold back. For me, she didn't, that was one of her best performances just yeah. because she didn't hold back. Me too. Mm -hmm. That's the feeling I got from it. So I enjoyed it for that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what, you know, that's part of her journey too because she's not going to look like Meryl walking out of here no. in week 10. It was never going to be that way. So, you know, her right. performing and giving her all, that's great. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's what they need to think about. Whatever. Eights. <laughs> judges. I know. That was a big boo. Yeah. Yes. Amy and Derek. Now, this was, this was interesting because this caused a lot mm. of controversy on social media. Really? How so? Because a lot of people said she hung out on a rope and that's not dance. And I was like, are you kidding mm. me? Do you know what type of like <sighs> athlete, which is also a dancer, it yeah. takes to perform that? And... If you read Derek's blog, he talked about um, he had talked to whomever was training them. Okay, I've, I can do this in a couple of weeks and train Amy to do that. He's like, I have about an hour to to, yeah. to learn this. To yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> which speaks to what her athleticism level is. Yeah, yes. she's an elite athlete. Exactly. She's an Olympian. We understand that. But um, you know, Cirque du Soleil mixes dance and art and. You know, Here's the aerial. Thing. You don't have to be on the floor. If it wasn't a rope, if it was Derek holding her and she was spinning like that, it wouldn't matter. 
It's just the exactly. same thing for her. I mean, exactly. it's actually easier because she doesn't have to hold onto a rope boat, you know, <laughs> and keep her legs together and be completely dizzy. And you know, you know what I mean? Like it's scary stuff to go and do that. Um, is it is it dance? I mean, it's a form of dancing. It's if a form it's of to, movement. It's, if, yeah, if he, it's just the same as if he was in a lift and I don't think people would have a problem with that. At the end of the day, the freestyle is um, come and bring your A game. We want to be shocked. It's a performance. Yeah. It's not so much a, they, it's your interpretation of dance, and that is a, a, a an interpretation of dance. It yeah. just has a rope instead of a floor or, or instead of a boy. Yeah. Okay. I go ahead. No, no, go. I agree. I mean, that's that's what freestyle is about. It's not about it, it's you do whatever you want. I mean, and he wanted to showcase how athletic and strong this woman is, and I thought it's, it was brilliant. It was absolutely. I thought wonderful. as the ending, it was like breathtaking to me it and it was like it, it, the way i saw this freestyle was like um he wrote a poem about amy mm -hmm. to me that was like a poem or an odd oh is that the w word is that a word odd odd not odd. anyway i don't know what, how do you say it in english but an it was ode. like an ode ode yeah like yeah. A, like a huge poem hum, hum, mm -hmm. like a dedication yeah, yeah like yeah. a dead like ode to yeah ode to dare you right yeah to mm. to amy and it was like she was flying high and mighty and to me it was so meaningful it, it, it got me on a, such a strong level that it, it, the the intent of the whole piece it was a story it had a message underneath it it was a true you know very very artistic artistically done routine so yeah so what like i i think that was perfectly appropriate and that was a perfect cherry on the top of her fin uh, of her season. season and i think uh, for for the amount of time that she did spend however long and however you see it on the rope um he he crammed in so much content at the beginning exactly it was, it was trick after lift after movement after like it was just the way they started that first lift where she didn't move her feet and then all of a sudden she was on his shoulder Beautiful. it was and it take it's very seamless it takes a lot of effort but also to make it look easy is difficult yeah i had no zero problem with the rope the whole performance <laughs> as a whole anna i completely completely agree with you on every level of it it got me at a deep level i was crying the whole number i was i could it just in every way was moving the song everything that yeah. Derek did with it the the rope and it, i didn't even that didn't even cross my mind mm -hmm. it just yeah. was it just was so perfect for the song and the choreography, mm -hmm. and I I was completely in it. Yeah. I loved every second of it, yeah. every single second. And remember, she had a shoulder injury, and there she is, yeah, like suspended exactly. on a rope. And you know, I challenge all you guys to learn that in an hour and do it. I probably wouldn't have made it off the floor. So People I don't, don't think I would. It's like you so said, hard. you have to be an athlete to be a, it, an elite it looks athlete. So too. easy, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, you're not like the guy that just like jogs like ten miles a day. This is an elite mm -hmm. trained athlete mm -hmm. that yeah. that can do this. So and and very in tune with her body to be able mm -hmm. to understand mm -hmm. that. So yeah. Amazing. Um, ten, nine, ten, and that's where Len got a lot of booing with that <laughs> yeah, nine. Yeah, absolutely. Again, what's up with that? I, I no don't idea. think he even really gave a explanation for it, right? He just, he just said nine. he didn't really like the rope. He's, at one yeah. point, he did say that, but... He didn't like the rope. It was just, like, breathtaking. It wasn't his thing. Yeah. Nice cup of tea. It's just nice to see something different like that, you know? And yeah. the way that they lit it, too, it was just like... That it's it's stunning. great, yeah. It's stunning. like it's, it's stunning. 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 stunning yeah, stunning. no one's complaining. <laughs> no one's complaining about a you know someone doing an aerial or doing a tuck or anything else. Look, yeah. that, by the way, I mean Derek has always said he wants to create memorable performances Absolutely. that you look back at and exactly well done. Yep. And that's where we basically wrapped up night one um, with James exiting, which I think was a pretty big shock, uh, except for Surrey, who okay. predicted it last week. I did. Yes. Oh, oh, <laughs> did really? you now? Yes. I did know. Uh, yeah, I just knew that, that Candace was going to be kept through. But yeah. I just knew because, look, they're fairly even in some ways. But yeah. if my gut was Candace is a little bit more likable. Not yeah. that James is not likable. No, Don't but mean that. Her fan yeah. base yeah. rallied yeah. hard. Just yeah. there's still, you just want to root for her. Yeah, her fan base rallied so. really hard. Mm, so, yeah. Yeah. and when you have that, 
as you know, with Bill last season, it's like it just takes on a life of its it own. Really it really does. It gains momentum. Yeah. And it's amazing. Let's talk about uh, night two and the yes. twenty-four hour challenge. We'll uh, wow. sort of yeah, the four and, the and a half hour or the two or hour challenge, hour, yeah, or the six a.m. <laughs> challenge, depending on when you rehearsed. Exactly. Um, which was a uh, kind of interesting. So. Um, Let's yeah. let's just quickly go over the the first hour of the show, which which was I thought fantastic. There were a couple of odd moments where people <laughs> forgot that it's a live show and uh, decided to s redo it. And thank God for Val, who kind of held that girl and said, "It's live. You can't do it." And you you all know who I'm talking about. The rapper chick, uh, Iggy. Iggy. Oh, we're going to oh. go into that after. We're going to talk about 24-hour oh, challenge first. Oh, shit. You didn't look at the board. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm on my own time in here. We'll get there. my own schedule. So let's go. No, but I do like that hour, though. Yeah. The first hour. The first hour was yeah. just all sort of uh, everyone's journey and everything else. It was and cool. Yeah. It, it, it reminds us show. of the old the result show thing. when we had two yeah. nights a week. And you can oh, see yeah. the behind the scenes. And it that. does. I it like that. Yeah. Max crying backstage. How about that? Very emotional, Max. Right? What's I going know. on? Keep teddy bear on. this season. It's sensitive Max. Oh. He's got in so touch with his nice tender side. So Why do refreshing. I miss this? I'm like, he would, because he, you he were changing with, all the yeah. time. He was yeah, with because Tony. I was that person doing that the whole show. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was okay. backstage with Tony. Um, it was like a little um, reality sobbing. clip. It was like yeah. a little reality clip they showed from the night before. From Emotional London. that it might Oh, from the night before. It was a sensitive bro listen, moment. Listen, listen, this is a message to you, like, you know, Max guys out there, you know, Find strength in vulnerability, because women, we love it. Yes, we, we do. do. It. Oh, everyone's like, yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> but it was very cute that, like, Tony was soothing him. It was a bro well, moment. they're best friends. I know, but there was, like, it was very tender. It was a bro moment. <laughs> All right, let's go to those 24-hour challenges. Amy and Derek, um, they had Argentine tango mm -hmm. and cha-cha. Cha-cha. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I, I loved this, actually. I uh -huh. did, too. I mm -hmm. thought it was really well done, and I watched them again. They did it, I think, on Kelly and Michael this morning, oh, and yeah. Good Morning America. Ever. Yeah. So it, it's tough doing it Good Morning America oh after you've been flying all night. <laughs> Holy yeah. cow. Heck yeah. They, they, everyone had it together by Kelly and Michael, but uh, which was <laughs> a couple hours later. But GMA, um, they were still a little bit flying. Yeah, everyone was yeah. loopy. Everyone was like, yeah, and the stage is like this big at GMA. Yeah. You guys oh, I know. need to watch that. Yeah, it's fun to watch, because everyone's trying not to fall off the dance floor and into the crowd. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, what do we think about? And, and the one thing I want to say about fusion is sometimes people decide to separate the two. And yeah, so you do one and then another. Yeah, yeah. it's a better strategy. Hmm. I think it depends on the music. Like, um, and we had a mixture last night. I think. Stop me if I'm wrong, but I think Derek went from um, tango. Ar Argentine tango to cha cha, to, to, to then Argentine into tango. yeah Argentine tango again. Um, and I, I think that's good because I think Argentine tango ha tends to have a little bit more flavor, um, so you can really build up the drama, and then go, and then and then as the music Pick builds up, up the you dynamics, can then exactly. Yes. So it kind of, kind of goes with the music. Yeah, um, to me, I want to comment on Amy's outfit for the for the challenge for the mm -hmm. whatever 24. fusion. Yep. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of you. She looked amazing. You thought of me? I did, yeah, about the costume. Why? Because you're like, oh, Anna's going to like the costume? Because No, because we tend to like similar costumes. We do, right? Yeah. Um, hey, hey, it's a good thing, I hope. <laughs> good taste. No. Um, Thank you. I hope. <laughs> right. We hope. But I do, I, I, I just couldn't stop staring at that outfit and her. I mean, she looks amazing. And I was in the studio. I was. They were right in front of me. And it's always, you know, um, looks different in the studio than on live yes. television. Um, so She's got the best bottom. She has amazing. <laughs> the best body ever. I would she love her body. does have an amazing body. <laughs> she does. She does. But she she was great. In fact, um, she did the cha-cha. I think it was in her first dance. I mean, this cha-cha yeah. in comparison to her first week was like a gazillion times better. It was so much sharper, so much more dynamic, so much more in it. She was in her body. Her lines were strong. I mean, and Argentine Tango was one of her best dances, so I thought that was a perfect combo for her, mm -hmm. and um, she nailed it. I mm. I loved her. You couldn't even tell that they only had 24 hours to put this together. It, it, like That's the thing. It's like they've been practicing it for weeks. I think by the time you get to this point, you see the partnership completely different, right? It's more 50-50. You mm -hmm. see, oh, that's Amy and Derek's interpretation of the cha yes. and, and Argentine tango and it's less it's more of a bec because they have the added pressure of it's 24 hours mm. and they've been doing it for 10 weeks straight 
she knows exactly what he's going to do he knows right. exactly how to maneuver her they've had that experience and it's literally like they 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 sort of morph together even more because it's a we have this amount of time it's a team let's let's we're so close to the mirror ball let's do it it's so i always like watching these 24 hour things because it's like the last it's the it is the last time they're going to dance together in the competition. Right. Like, right. It's emotional for everyone, too. You yeah. kind of see it. That's awesome. See it. They Great. got a perfect uh, 30. Yeah. yeah. Um, well Candace served. And, yep. Candace Great. and Mark doing the quick step in the samba. And I thought that this was a good dance for them to end on. I mm. think so, too. I felt like she, her head yes. was together in the second night, and she just was like, this is the last she dance. And she went out. Not that they she rehearsed everything in that, that morning. <sighs> Yeah, she didn't want that six at six six a.m. they got there. You know, they mentioned that, but I, I thought it was a smart strategy. She said she was exhausted need on rest. Monday, Sometimes and you need to rest. You just need yeah. to let it go and start fresh. Sleep on in the morning. It. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you're a morning person, you're always going to think better and more clear for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The red jumpsuit. Oh. See, did you like that too? I loved it. I loved it. I loved that. Was that was, was one of us? Beautiful. Like, wow, her body. She looks great. Yeah, she Perfect looks combo for those two dancers for yeah. sure. Somebody yep. asked me who who has the best body, who had the best body on the show, and I said Candace. Hello, really? yeah. after all her kids, oh, and she looks yeah. like that. Yeah. Candace. And did amazing. you see the package where she was saying, you know, I used to get um, a load of people so, yeah, me for being she was Yeah, That's she was terrible. Well, yeah, when when she was, um, I remember I, teenager, you know, full house. Was, yeah, she was on the fuller side, and then, maybe yeah. a little bit. And then at the, the end kid? of the package, I loved it. She was like, well, take that, you know, haters. And I was like, yeah, that's her body great. is amazing. Yeah. She, she looks very good. Amy Adams, like American Hustle. Yes, yes. she does. Yes. 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 Very yes. 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 That's That's why I had to tweet her today. I was like, woman, you are killing it. And she wore amazing. a black jumpsuit on GMA today. And she oh. looked uh, yes. is even better. She, I was like, oh, She my says God. she feels amazing after, after those many weeks dancing. Of course. You, you can work out every day in a gym. And it just is not, even Max said this. He hasn't been to the gym in months or whatever because dancing every day just it yeah just tightens, tightens everything yeah. and you lose everything. I mean, yeah. it's the best workout. Ever. It's yeah. the best workout because and you feel it's loose. Yeah, you you yeah. have to be loose and flexible and fast. You it's like doing yoga and running and cross training and everything. you know CrossFit and then weights lift weightlifting and swimming all at the same time in two minutes to music. And you're having so much fun, and you're sweating, and it's amazing. Yeah. It is the best. And you can exercise. eat Good anything, therapy. and try it at the <laughs> studio next to you. <laughs> <laughs> they got all nines. I yeah. thought that was great. Yep. Yeah, uh, she did have a little little mess up, unfortunately. Yeah, but she still looked great. She looked great. And, I, I thought it was a good note for her to end yeah. on too. Yeah, I did. Good season, really good season, because she was the unexpected finalist. Yeah, mm-hmm. she said she wanted to make it to week six. Wow. Yeah, wow. She did a good job. Yeah. yeah. She should she be very proud. Uh, ending the night and probably the end of their perfect season, Max yeah. and Meryl doing Foxtrot and Cha-Cha. And oh, yeah. It looked, I mean, they, they could have rehearsed 30 minutes. They could have rehearsed three hours. I don't even know. It just, it was uh, so effortless and great. Yeah. I just want to say that, and I know they've touched on it and the judges might have said it, Carrie Ann, maybe uh, a few times, but... It was super fun for me to watch Max dance this season mm-hmm. and at the level that he danced. And then it was amazing to see Meryl, who's so sweet and whatever, match his energy and yes. intensity. Mm-hmm. It was that would that stands out, for, especially in particular for that dance. For and she. it does for ice dancing fans too, because uh, she usually matches what Charlie delivers on the mm-hmm. ice because they're partners. Mm-hmm. And so what Meryl has delivered with Max has been very different energy wise, yes. mm-hmm. a little bit more edgier, sexier, yes. which I think has been Love really it. fun to see. And yeah. she's kind of flourished under his his branch. Well, I I, got, I, I guess I feel like that because he's so tall and she's like so petite <laughs> but she kind of just like flourished and just like oh you know this is about about me and she's not that type of person she's she's so modest and she's so giving um and I'm sure she tried to make this this whole season a lot more about Max than than um it, it perhaps was you know because it should be it should be about her too um but also the balance that she gave him don't mm-hmm. you think you know like he, he oh. a lot of the packages you could see that he was really almost changing like I love yeah. the balance that, that that she gave him she kind of kept him calm like you would expect him to keep her calm they 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 gave each other just as much yes, you they're know? a good good team oh yeah I don't remember I mean you guys you've been on the show a very long time but I don't remember seeing yes I'm part- archaic I don't remember. That's not how I meant it. <laughs> I know. I just, I haven't she's watched a, every she's single a season. Dancing with the Stars Relic. Yeah. Pretty no, much. What pretty I was going to say is, you I can have, go to the museum and check me out. <laughs> I have not seen Behind a better glass. partnership. 
Yeah, that's oh, true. I have not seen a better better chemistry or partnership. Yes. I'm, and I'm telling you, he has never been happier. Like, yeah. I've just seen him backstage. I'm like, Max, you can't, you can't stop smiling from ear to ear. You're a happy, happy man. Yeah. And I like that. I'm like, we, can't we see their babies, Boris and Oleg in bed? Right? Oh, so goodness cute. gracious. Okay, I, I gotta say that there was more articles today about their showmance, romance, whatever you want to call it. Are they dating, not dating? Then their win. And I was a little disappointed because I'm like, I think that their win was something to be celebrated and they had such yeah. a good season and yeah. I don't necessarily care what happens. It's their own lives. And yeah. yeah. Privates. Whatever. I fun do, to watch. I, a, lot, a lot of fun. I mean, if we talk about the the last dance, this it, she looked amazing. That outfit on her, especially when she took that skirt off. Yeah. She was shimmying and she was doing a full lock step. She did have a little mess up. I, yeah, I was did. like, oh, oh my gosh, she messed up. Meryl messed up. What? <laughs> Which almost was more, it was kind of very endearing because she's like, oh, she actually isn't the pro. She's human. She, she does mess up. <laughs> but her recovery was so quick and so good. And she, instead of kind of go, oh, I messed up, she was like, <clears throat> and she would just went back on that horse and added more energy. And she she just finished so good. And yeah. again, cannot get over her lockstep. They were so good. Um, so yeah, I mean, phenomenal. Phenomenal That's dancing. your gold medal winner. I mean, yeah. right yeah, there. Yeah, right yeah. there. It's, That's your Olympian. It's... Um, that's that's why they won. Yeah. Yeah, and I was really happy that they won. And I feel like it was just, it was a season that you just, you didn't want to, you don't argue about the win. You understand yeah. it. Yeah. It was complete. Which, you know what? So, Still, people did argue, though. They're like, well, Amy should have won because Amy had a bit. And then, but it's like, and and then other people are like, well, it would be Derek number six time. And, and then Max should have won because, you know, he had never won it. It just made for a good show. You know, all those, yeah. the, it was a good all those, Sort of yeah. dramatic moments. I would have been okay with either couple mm-hmm. winning, 100%. Um, it was, you know, Mac, Max and Meryl, for me, it they were just very, very special. Yes. That energy that you just cannot, you cannot create it and, yeah. and yeah. not made it. But it also, don't you think, beautiful. would be very silly if Meryl and Max wouldn't win because she was the best dancer this season so far. It's like if Nicole Scherzinger would have not won, it would have been kind of silly or, <laughs> you know, th- yeah. th- that kind of, or Christian Maguchi wouldn't have won because she clearly was the best dancer at the time. So it's like you, you want to make sure that you keep the integrity of the show going as well. And I feel by them winning, it's like, yes, it is about the best dancer mm-hmm. at yeah. the end of the day. And um, hey, here we go. That's That's it. Best dance no, it's now. good, and I like that because we're not going to be sitting here three years from now going, "Remember the year Max and Merrill didn't win, and they should have won," or you know that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want that, so I, I was really, really happy for their win, and, and <laughs> yeah. they deserved it too. Oh, I mean, they, it did. Just, totally. they did. They had the cleanest season. They had you, you know the most consistency too, and, yeah. and the technique. It was it was lovely. So yes. and I'm glad everyone was so happy for them too. Um, now let's go into all the the performances and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Uh, let's go into Iggy Iggy Azalea because you were talking. You were in the number. Yeah. yeah. I, I, Talk I, about the confusion. <laughs> well, I remember. Um, uh, we blocked it all. We blocked it for like an hour and more that day. And then I, I remember during the performance, I came in and and um, got into my my place, and I was actually crouched down in the audience because you know I didn't yeah. want the camera behind me to get the back of my head. Yeah. And so I wasn't looking at her, even though I wanted to. And she, I just remember the first thing coming out of her head and um, her mouth, and um, and then she just kind of said, "I'm really sorry. Um, I don't." I can't hear anything in my ear or something's wrong in my ear, right. apologizing. And I just was like, I'm a complete shock. Uh-oh. Like, oh my God, does she think that this is a, a pre-record or does she, right. does she not know it's live? And then I'm thinking, is there any way that they can stop it broadcasting? No. And, but there's oh, not. They, they can only the adjust it. The station. <laughs> they can only adjust it um, um, on the uh, West Coast, you yes. know, and um, but not on the East Coast. The East Coast gets everything. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh no, but really... The more, I, I don't know if she could have taken out her earpiece because then it, it might have been better. You know, if you can hear something in your ear that's that's conflicting to what is being put out, um, it, it's best just take it out. But she, I'm sure she's very professional. I'm sure she did know that it was live and it was just her way of saying, okay, if, if I'm singing this a little off, it's because yeah. she didn't want to detriment her own um, career. But it was a huge shock, and um, and I wished I'd have seen Val's face. Oh, here's the oh. funny thing, though. <laughs> oh. I love Val. Val was like, "Yo, she looked in my eyes and forgot the words." <gasps> I was like, <laughs> I was like, 
I was like, she had ear problems. And he was like, no, I knew it would happen. She looked in my eyes and forgot the words. Oh, my like, yeah. gosh. <laughs> yeah, Val. Exactly. He's mesmerizing. I said, uh, yeah, I'm about to dance with you um, like three times during the show. I really hope I don't look in your eyes in case I forget the choreography. <laughs> <laughs> I just blanked out. Oh, no. <laughs> That's awesome. He does oh, have Val. beautiful eyes, though. So, yeah. you know, she's, she's forgiven. Um, a couple of the encore dances. It was great to see um, Danica dance that quick step. I love that uh, to be yeah. our guest. That was oh yeah, and the plates, yes, so our, yes. our adorable plates, Jenna and Lindsay. Um, Charlie, I do want to talk about the Mary Poppins oh. again. What is it with props in poor Charlie? He should it broke. Just, it's not his fault. No, but his recovery was, awesome, was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, but it almost felt Always like it is. was meant to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was almost like the part of the story is like part one and part two. It's interesting. And then part two, he was just like that. Ah, it was like. Almost like if you watch a movie, it's like that's just how it meant to happen. Yeah, his face yeah, was yeah. Priceless. funny. It was great. It was great. I was it's like fun. screaming. I was screaming when that happened. I was like, oh my god! Like I loved it. I even loved the fact that prop didn't work. It was. <laughs> yeah. I was. I just loved that number. To me, it was one of the most memorable and favorite um, routines of the whole season. So I agree. it just makes me happy. Watch it every single yeah. time. Yeah, and it does it again. She sure did is. a great job. She's yeah. got some killer choreography that we saw this season. I was yeah. very impressed. Um, Christina Perry, I know we want to talk a little oh, bit about that. Her, yes. her songs are always great. So yeah. I love that song, and I I thought it was just done really well how they had the couple standing there and the playback of you know their journey a little bit. So they they were standing there and watching themselves and the tears, and it was yeah. it was nice. I don't know like, how you can't cry to things like that, and uh, you know I'm sure you know I cry a lot. You know yeah. it gets to me. <laughs> yes, I'm, I just, you're always so emotional. I, just, I love it. It's hard just for me to love. You. It's horrible because you want to stop, you know, you don't want to be that, oh, here she goes again, crying. But it's really sad, you know, to in a beautiful way. It's just touching to see this beautiful song and uh, this gorgeous artist and then to, to watch everybody's journey. And they put the slow-mo camera on, oh, so it makes yeah. it even worse. That's and dramatic. they're all standing there just like embracing each other and hugging each other. I'm like, oh, gosh, this is just... It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it was for me too. It I was. It. it was really sweet. Uh, anyone want to comment on Amber Riley? I mean, she kind of nailed it. In her oh number. my gosh, Amber! She is just such a pro. She I is. mean, there was a moment where um, she started uh, on the opposite side of the stage, and she had to come down and come to the middle of the stage, and people who's supposed to bring her, and it's kind of high. It's like a couple of feet. Um, and people who were supposed to bring her a staircase, they didn't show yes, up in time. They forgot. And the she, stairs. she Oops. literally like basically said screw it, and she tossed herself off and just got you know <laughs> got in there, that. and she just got in like this is where I need to be, and I'm gonna get there no matter what. And she's such a pro. I was like, oh my gosh, she just killed it, and that song is an amazing quick step or oh, Lindy Hop. She's phenomenal. I love it. I love the whole Gatsby flavor and I love all Gatsby. the dancers yeah. and all the jazziness of it. I just It could have been a really good opening number. It I was thought. a Mandy right? a Mandy Moore phenomenal number Wonderful. I just thought why did they open with that because I was like that would have been like boom I know it was fantastic it was and it was live as well and there was a lot yeah. of set going on yes. you know mm -hmm. but yeah I'm really glad that you mentioned that because I mean that, that's the kind of thing that you don't see that mm -hmm. when she when she transitions you know the staircase um, unfortunately um, the crew didn't bring so she yeah. just hurled herself off and got, got right <laughs> yeah. to it but it is do. as you said it's quite high uh, yeah it was great I loved dancing that That's my, that was yeah, my favourite of the you night were in it. sure yeah. I loved it that's so much fun um, um, somebody who I was sitting next to is like oh my gosh how did they remember all these dances and you guys I mean I feel like if I would have been uh, part of the season just the, the amount of numbers for the finale would have just drive me mad <laughs> so I do want to ask you how did you guys like hold on with all the costume changes and hair changes and makeup changes and the amount of choreography that you all had to learn we we rehearsed for that number specifically two weeks before oh, sometimes good. if there's if there's um, something coming up that they know about especially for the finale when they know it's going to be jam packed they, um, you know, set up rehearsals beforehand. So that one, I used to rehearse it every time before I go to bed because yeah. it, it, there was a lot of very intricate <laughs> choreography. There was a lift in there that was, it looks impressive, but the amount of work to get it to that is just was You're ridiculous. You're talking about the one where you lit, flip and twist? Yeah, flip and twist. That it, was amazing. A, a difficult lift. I and, had to keep playing it. I was like, how'd they do that? Yeah, yeah. And, and it goes in like one second mm -hmm. and... Um, Every single one of the partnerships like rehearsed that to the death. That it was good, so yeah. difficult. Um, 
But yeah, it just kind of happened. The Nini dance that we did, which we'll talk about oh later, my was gosh. so much fun that you kind of just the chore- you do it that many times because you like it. Yeah. Choreography just came. I don't know. It's just you. You, you know, you've done. You've been dancing for so long. That's just something that you. You. It feels natural. If the choreography doesn't feel natural, it's more difficult. But everybody's great choreographers. And like you that. guys got used a lot. I mean, the troupe mm-hmm. got used a lot, and then as you and guys got voted off, everyone yeah. got added in good, to dance. Like that. Mm-hmm. that was great. Yeah. I mean, I think Lindsay was like, I dance more than I was when I. I was a pro you know yeah. <laughs> she, yeah yeah she had like eight or nine things that's that's amazing. Amazing. That girl was on the floor all the so time much. that's amazing um just a couple hot topics that kind of came up uh, oh, over the last couple nights please yeah do. please yeah the voting snafus uh a lot yes. of james fans were very upset well actually um for the lines uh, were supposed to be open for an hour later right on monday and mm-hmm. Be- even before 11 they were already closed hmm. oh really yeah and a lot of James fans were voting on Facebook and would say thanks for voting for Max and Merrill oh <laughs> and TMZ even picked up the story um, not oh, they, they did they, they were they? researching it per se but they picked it up from the social media like what was right. happening and people enough people were complaining about it that it became a trending story hmm. put it that oh, way wow. and, and you know it has happened in other seasons I've heard it yes. from Zendaya fans and I've heard it from even Amber fans I think last year so we have seen this before you know what technology goes awry it's perfect nothing's perfect it would be nice maybe to hear from the show or abc saying we're aware of it what the heck happened? we don't know yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know we're looking into it but hackers the, everywhere the hackers until so the hackers <laughs> learn how to do that yeah well, so who knows i mean there's nothing you can do about it unfortunately yeah. but we just wanted to mention it because i didn't know I did. that yeah kind of interesting and, and people were saying like it would show like on the screen like i voted for uh james and then it'd be like thank you for voting max and merrill and I, you're like oh, oh God. God. yeah it happens. um did um len announce his retirement he he did, maybe kinda, maybe he did he, he say maybe he sort of bookended it yeah, yeah. he, he kind of said this this may or may not be my last season you know i'm not committing to it that it is but if it is blah 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 he's tired yeah and i i don't think i think that's definitely 100 percent his choice um you know he travels from england he does the same show in england um, called strictly come dancing so him him and bruno they travel every um year endless amounts i mean i can't i'd love to have their frequent flight points they, yeah <laughs> and their first land. class everything i know um <laughs> and he to some extent he must want to kind of pick one and you know be there with his wife and play golf yes. and just and not worry about traveling and right. spreading himself have his uh, glass of wine I glass guess. of chianti who would be a good substitute judge i mean i always surely balance uh, <laughs> it's funny yeah she, she kind That'd of crossed my mind too yeah. yeah everyone loves her you need somebody who fits that you don't want someone to come in and try to be len but you yes. need someone who fits his criteria in the terms that you need a very a highly respected technical boyman latin yes. judge to be co- you I, I it's not good to get someone who is already somebody it's good to let's make a new somebody fresh let's make a somebody uh, the new head mm. judge because of what they uh what they've achieved in their yes. field and um, they'll become loved like Lang. exactly yes. shirley ballas another person i'm gonna throw out just because he's hilarious and he has much much cooler younger vibe um he's not like 12 or anything but he's 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 been around <laughs> richard porter is one of the most hilarious people I've he met. He would be very mm, good. He would be amazing. In fact, he was aud- he was auditioned for Strictly Come Dancing when they first started, and it was kind of between him and Len, and then Richard was so busy that he said, you know what, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Like, you guys want me to be in England for 10 weeks? I'm never in England for 10 weeks. I'm going to Japan and, in- in and, and America yeah. and Italy and everywhere. So I wonder if he would change his mm, mind now. Yeah. Probably would. You know, and guest judges. I mean, I think it was a mixed bag this season. I liked season. it. Mixed bag. I'll it was agree a mixed bag. You. I've seen mixed bag. Like Abby Mix- B. Miller, yeah, yeah. Red Foo was a mixed bag for me. Yeah. Those could, I, could I enjoyed about. Ricky. I, you know, uh, uh, Kenny, Kenny Ortega, Ortega, of course, is yes. great. Kenny. Robin Roberts was great. Yeah, I, I, I like those. Yeah, I, I think Kenny Ortega was was for me the best. Yeah, I, just, I respect him so much in his field, and I think he looked at the bigger picture. Mm. Um, whereas you know, maybe Red Foo. Um, wasn't my favorite he was he's actually one of my favorite artists i love him he's a great guy but i think for the show he maybe didn't mm, transcend yeah yes yeah and then abby lee has you like abby lee yeah do you know what i don't watch dance moms um but i i have to say some i I don't want to jump on the bandwagon of oh she you know i hate her blah 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 um i guess i'm a bit indifferent i don't think i definitely definitely don't agree with all of her comments however i feel like um 
it was it was quite fun to watch the tension that she created yeah. for being purely Abby it Lee was, Miller. Yes. Um, sure. So I, I I guess I I'm a bit boring really. I don't really have an opinion on that. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you don't, you don't if she to. was if she was downright rude and 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 nasty, um, I I probably would have disliked. She is on her own show, so she yeah. she can do it all there. She was <laughs> right. on her best behavior. I, I mean, she was on better behavior. She I don't want to say best, she? but her better behavior. But we like we like the guest judges overall. I we think do. that idea Some of guest them. judges is good. It's just like pick your, pick, pick the right judges. ones. Pick yeah. the right ones. Um, yeah. And then we said goodbye to Conrad Green. I yelled at him oh. all season long. I he, I yelled <laughs> yeah. at him a lot. Um, let's be honest. But Rob Wade's coming in, so yes. you know, very familiar with the show. Now you, Rob Wade, even though he, there is another Rob Wade who's a, a pretty famous choreographer. Yeah, yes, Rob Wade is a, a BBC producer that um, was with Dancing with the Stars from season one and I, I've worked with him on many occasions and he was pulled to do uh, The X Factor mm -hmm. um, and now he's back to do Dancing with the Stars which is I think is a good thing because he kind of went to another show learned maybe a few lessons and has a, a, a different perspective on the whole thing so um, how things going to go next season I'm really excited to see Thank because um, I just hope he's going to bring some fresh um perspective and look and which means probably things gonna change a bit here and there which is change is good change is good be open-minded everyone yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. let's um let's you know keep our fingers crossed that those are good changes and we we're gonna enjoy them all right yeah. i do derek did tweet out that the show beat out uh american idol finale and, and the voice by like mm. four, four million. million wow yeah. that's great so that's, those are big numbers those are big numbers that's a big deal and it i think it's proving too this was a great season it was well cast it really seems like a hodgepodge season. of people but then you're like when you start really looking at it right a lot of likable personalities sense. yeah you know, and I, Drew Carey, like it was fun to see him back. It was and one of my favorite seasons, and yeah. Carrie Ann said That's it was one great. of her favorite seasons. Right. Yeah. It was, it flew by. It really did. It, flew it really by. did. Yep. But Which yeah, was nice. I mean, Con Conrad last night was um, where we actually all got together to wish him a, a, yeah. a good farewell, and he he gave us all those statistics about you know beating the X Factor, beating the Voice, and the uh, the number one unscripted television show um, for years in America, yes. and just how big it is and how much it means to him and um and i i feel kind of sad that he he's gonna move on but i i feel like this product will always be kind of what he created i don't think it's gonna i think it will change you know for the better and refresh it's pretty much like setting the refresh button but it the whole concept i think you got to keep the certain things that the show is about um if it, if it changed too much it would turn into something that when we're, we're not and you know, I think the reason why so many people watch it that much is because it's a winner. It's a winner sh winning show. And the only thing that changes every season, really, or it is integral to change every season, is the celebrities. Uh, yes, yeah, and the professionals. That, yeah, no, you know, uh, as and when it happens. Just gotta, Listen, put, it, just gotta put it in there. <laughs> oh, uh, but uh, we do I, love you here, though. Uh, yeah, we do. Huh? Uh, we love you we here, do. though. Too. Well, thank you. I love to be here too. I do think, though, um, it was a very emotional moment for Conrad Green leaving. He he was emotional the whole day, actually, and I, yeah. and I'm sure everybody gave him a hug. You know, I gave him a hug, and I and I looked at him. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're making me emotional. I'm gonna start crying. Oh. Um, just the thing on his face, and he and I was like, you gonna go and you gonna make another phenomenal show and it's gonna be another hit and he's like yeah but it's not gonna be this show I think this show means a lot to it him it really does baby. It, it is his baby and he came he's from England been, to do it exactly and he's been with his baby for 18 seasons and it's what eight years it's like oh, I leave a child when it's Nine eight years, years old it's it's tough <laughs> so but I do wish him all the best he's a very smart man and he's 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 gonna and it makes some, some and, other TV magic. And there's a great um, exit interview on The Hollywood Reporter. So mm -hmm. you can go to the website. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really interesting. Uh, kind of gives you an idea. It does I show you that, that the, the show is highly produced. There's some oh, things that he talked about. He was, he was very open about that. And I thought that yeah. that was, that that was good. It, it, good. It's an eye-opening for some fans that always yell at us when we say it's highly produced. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And then really quick before you wrap up. Because yes. I know you're about to. Yeah. I turning to our show. I just want to personally thank all of our fans. Yes. From this season and and my co-hosts. Phenomenal season, and we love all of you so much. We are so thankful and grateful for your support. You guys have been amazing. I mean, truly. I yes. think my co-host will agree with us. Yep. It's our best rated season as well. Yep. And congratulations. Um, thank you. you. It's <laughs> been a lot of fun with Jules, who's not here unfortunately today, oh, yeah. but. 
Yeah, yeah. Anna, thank love you. you. Uh, Kristen, you. I, I just wanted to acknowledge everybody out there. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And a call out to uh, JC Rubio for doing fantastic red carpet yes. interviews all season long yeah. as well. So he's been delivering those each and every week. And uh, Emma, tell us where we're going to find you this summer. Uh, this summer, you're going to find me here. You're going to find me there. You're going to find me everywhere. <laughs> but basically, I'm doing uh, uh, the Dancing with the Stars cruise that they have every summer. Oh, and I'm actually going to be going home to England because my best friend's getting married. Ah. Yeah, and I can't wait to, to see her and be a bridesmaid. And um, and then I, I've got shows in Florida and um, um, just... Um, uh, private, private more events. All right, I okay. wish I wish I had like a big show that I could say, "Hey, everybody, I'm going to do this big show." But <laughs> yeah. things will come up, and where can everyone find you? Uh, everyone can find me on Twitter at Emma Slater Dance. Sorry, Serana, what are you doing this summer and where can we find you? Um, covering sports and uh, interviewing UFC athletes and NFL and NBA guys wow. and all that stuff and, and here at Spotlight On. Um, and at Suri Serrano, S-U-R-I-S-E-R-A-N-O on everything. Yeah. Yep. Anna Sky. Well, this summer I'm actually going to concentrate on my business, which is a dance studio in Hermosa Beach called You Can Dance. So everybody, if you're in Hermosa Beach and you want to have <laughs> lessons, we're there, you know, seven days a week, come book a lesson or come to a group class. Um, and then being a mommy and then getting yeah. back to shape, doing a couple of... Uh, Bowling with a twist show and then some other, you know, teaching gigs and stuff. So you're dressed in the good. I saw some. Well, yeah. Yeah. I saw you guys. And you can find me on Twitter at a tribunskaya, <laughs> tribunskaya on Instagram, Anna Tribunskaya on Facebook, and the website. Love you, everybody. Thanks for watching. All right, and I'm Kristen Burton. Of course, uh, I'm starting up. So you think you can dance starting next yes. week? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. So um, Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Pacific time, and uh, I hope you join us. It's the same crew as last season. Um, otherwise, uh, you know it's where to find me at Kristen Burt on Twitter I answer pretty much every single tweet that comes to, into me which is a full time <laughs> job you guys it's been this season yep. we will see you in season 19 have a great summer thank you for all yeah. of your thank support you for thank watching. you thank you so much from executive producers Maria Menounos Kevin Undergaro Phil Svitek and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network to watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, you later! <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.